Operetta Music Video Vignette. Hey, I'm Terrence K. And I'm Dane, and we're from Detroit. We met online just uh, basically being pen pals, trading ideas back and forth, uh, and didn't meet until about a year later uh, when we started DJing together and he came back to Detroit. I originally got involved in dance music back in 2000 with my first introduction to parties. And uh, I think the first CD I was introduced to actually was, was Ronnie Sides Represent to a good friend named Tim. And it just ever since had just been in love with it. Um, I originally got into dance music around middle school. Going into high school, I had a lot of friends that were really into it, this sort of niche group of friends that uh, just really into this uh, thing called techno, and I had never heard of it before, and I had a buddy who had turntables, and I used to go and just watch him in his house. When I'm thinking about production, I'm usually thinking about just dance floor tunes, things to make people dance. I'm really heavily influenced myself from Chicago sounds, and parts of the jazz. Uh, a lot of old, older sounding tech house grooves that draw a lot from techno. This is really, really where I sit with tech house. Um, I like my music really weird. I like, you know, when I'm DJing, I want someone to walk in and kind of be like, what is that? What's going on right now? So, I mean, it's always somewhere between techno and house. Uh, super deep and um, a lot of pads, a lot of synths. But uh, really influenced with the minimalistic uh, movement and um, just, just house house music mixed with techno. The best description of our sound, I'd say is probably like real bass driven grooves, real floaty atmospheres, a lot of really, really heavy percussion aspects. Uh, we draw a lot from house. Man, when I, when I think about my influences, I'm, uh, it's, it, it mainly comes from a lot of real natural sounds that, that I did actually hear on the Ronnie Sides Represent CD, but well, mainly guys like Jeff Mills, Robert Hood, uh, Carl Craig's a big one for me. Uh, influence for me, I mean, I had, I was always a Richie Houghton guy, so as a kid, I mean, I had Sheet One, so very, very much so stemmed from sort of what he was doing with the minimal. Um, I really liked uh, Seth Troxler. First trying to get a hold of Brian, I was, we were thinking back to ourselves, we were, we were in the studio, and we were like, man, wouldn't that be the shit if we could get a Beretta release? And I always I like, talked about it. Yeah, we were, we were talking about it for a minute. I'm gonna hit him up, man. I'm just gonna see what he says. We're shooting up some work. So I kept I kept shooting him work and shooting him work, shooting him work, and then one day me and him were just hanging out in the studio and uh, he, he gave us well, he gave me the opportunity and I wanted to get Terrence jumped in on it. The name Turnstyle, it sort of stems from, you know, this is the start of something new. It's sort of an entry point. We had just come from a summer of producing tracks together and uh, this was something new. As far as colors and shapes, it, that was basically just a name that we liked, that we wanted to use for a project, and I think the track sounded like it met, it was met for that title. Man, my ultimate goal is to be respected in my community for my work, my creative talent, and to just generally put out records people want to hear, people dancing to, just really, really hitting it hard and just having a good time. Uh, my ultimate goal is just to kind of meet as many people as I can, share my music with as many people as I can, and sort of take it to that level I always envisioned in my head. Something fucking crazy. My name is Terrence. I'm a moonwalker, dreamweaver, and all around believer. I don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna say, honestly, dude.